What's up guys? Welcome to your 167th Android tutorial for the new Boston. We're hopefully we're going to finish our widget uh, widget application. Don't want to go too much more into it, uh, but just quickly, um, again we want this activity to finish and what we're going to do is if it can't load um, where the widget, which widget is uh, basically opening this class, all we're going to do to this if statement, because I forgot, we're just going to say else and then finish as well. So just a quick piece of code there, and that's kind of proof checking as well. So you know, if we can't get the ID, we're just going to finish the application. Pretty simple. And in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to open an, an activity uh, just based off of a button for the widget. So it's going to be a little bit different than we would if we were just creating a regular activity where we set up an intent and we just say start activity. Uh, we need to identify it with the button and all that stuff within our code. So before we call this update method for our app widget manager, um, we're actually going to add some lines of code here. So this is where we're going to set up our intent that we want to open, and we also got to set up a pending intent, pending intent, uh, because that's what remote views, that's what widgets like to use, all that good stuff. So again, we're going to set up an intent, and we're just going to say uh, this intent is in, and we're just going to set this equal to new intent. And we're going to refer to our context, which again we referenced as C, and then the activity that we want to open or the class that we want to open. So we're going to open the splash activity or the splash class. So again, we call that class splash, and then we just say um, we have to re refer to it as a class. So that's kind of similar concept that we've done previously. Yeah, 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 nothing new. And uh, it might it might have been a while though. But uh, now we're going to set up something called a pending intent, and we're just going to call this PI for pending intent. Intent. We're going to set this equal to the pending intent class, and we're just going to say dot get activity. And it takes four things within its parameters: a context, which we're going to say C, a request code, which we're just going to say zero, and intent, which we're going to refer to the intent we just set up, which we called IN, and the flags as zero as well. So that's new. Um, this is something you know that we use with widgets, pending intents. And now all we have to do is we have to set our onclick, you know, our onclick listener, uh, basically to the button that we have in our widget. So it's going to be kind of similar. Uh, again, we set up this remote views, and this is how we set our text view. Now all we're going to do is set our onclick listener uh, for our button. So what we're going to do is we're going to refer to our views, which is a remote view. And then we're just going to say set on click pending intent. And you're like, oh, pending, yeah. What's what's up with all these pending intents? Well, that's just the way that the widgets uh, like to work. I don't know, they're kind of weird. But we're just going to go with it. And then all we have to do is refer to our button within our widget layout. So we're just going to say r.id. Uh, button widget open um, is what we called that reference and we need to pass in the pending intent, intent which we set up here called PI and there we go and again our app uh, widget manager is gonna update everything according to the ID and this remote views uh, that we set up and again all we're doing is setting up an intent of the class that we want to open and we're setting up a pending intent uh, which is gonna kind of just refer everything to the context and to the intent that we want to open and then we just have to set our onclick listener. You can think of it that way, but it's called onclick pending intent um, to that button, uh, widget button, and the application that's going to open. So, and all we need to do is we need to set a result. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new intent, and we're going to call this uh, result something like that. We're going to set this equal to new intent as well. Make sure the spelling's correct there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, result. And all we got to do is we got to put extras in, just like when we were working with the bundles uh, a while ago, um, or put extra, I should say. Uh, when we were working with those bundles, we're just returning some data back to uh, you know, the app or the widget that called this class. So what we want to return is the app widget uh, manager and dot extra um, and that's just going to be basically the key value or the key 
reference and it's going to just refer to the apps uh, the app widget ID for this you know this activity then we're going to return the value you as the ID that was being passed into the class and all that good stuff so we're just going to say awid which is our variable that we set up uh, for this activity and then all we're going to do is we're going to say set result oops set result and we're just going to say yeah everything's okay if you guys remember again when we worked with bundles we got to tell it yeah everything's fine and then we're also going to say result um, that's the intent that's being passed back uh, so that's basically how this works um, again you know we set up an intent and we're passing or updating our widget app and then we're updating the specific ID that called this activity to start and we're also setting a result uh, to be passed back to the app uh, to the widget I keep saying app so sorry for that and you know everything is good to go so let's run our application and make sure it works also talk about uh, some of the things that you guys can do to fix um, or you know try to fix which is part of the which is the fun part of programming always solving problems and that stuff uh, or seeing if you can figure out how to uh, do the solution so um, here's our activity we're just gonna go back just gonna click on the screen and add a widget <clears throat> again it's gonna be of the type new Boston and uh, as you can see it opens our configuration activity we're just gonna type something hit the button it's gonna set the result and send it back uh, to our first text view and our button will open up hopefully the new Boston as you can see the splash screen which I narrowed down to like half a second because I was sick of listening to it but uh, yeah so that works and then the problem is is it's not calling that on update method because when you use the configuration um, type of widget it won't call the on update the first time you create the the widget so you can either try and solve that problem by you know um, doing that within this uh, configuration class uh, you know setting that up as well and all that good stuff but hopefully you guys understand uh, a little bit more about widgets and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a good one